Okay, so we're back in Podio, and for this tutorial, I'll explain a little bit about a uh, non-functional part of how Podio can be used for your team management. Because in the previous one, it's more specifically for ICX and OGX, but for this one, it's more specifically for uh, general team management. Because in ICX Hong Kong, we're very used to using lots of emails, and we're in the end, we're flooded with a lot of emails about different things and everything's not really centralized and you kind of forget to reply emails and follow up and it will cause lots of trouble in the future so how this project um, this workplace works um, this is all a tutorial purpose and then I've already created a few work uh, applications and if you want to know more about what are applications you can refer to the previous tutorial for that so I've created a set of application, one called Project Tracker, another called Meeting Manager, next one called the Claiming System, and finally this one is more specifically for projects involving conferences. It's called Project Registration. Okay, so for the first one about the Project Tracker, say in your team you have lots of things you have to do, say invite guest speakers, book venues, and all those sort of stuff. And uh, yet you want to make sure you can view the progress and also who are the PIC and make sure all the files uh, files that are related to the deliverable is in one place. So you can click add deliverable here and say you can create a name, say book, books, book the venue for open Oh, it's a type in Japanese. Opening ceremony. Right. That's the name. And then a brief description. So time 18 oh, maybe 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. and somewhere in Kowloon. Okay. And the PIC. So you can choose the PIC within the people in the workplace. But at the moment, I'm the only one. So that I can only click myself. Of course, you want to set the deadline, say end of October. And then this progress bar is to show how far are you from completing this task. Of course, the task was just created, and I didn't start anything, so it will still be in 0% here. And I don't need any urgent help, so no. And if there are any files related to this deliverable, maybe like the map of the venue or the agenda of the opening ceremony, you can just attach it here. You click Save. And then now, if you go back to the project tracker, you can find all the details about this deliverable. And your team members can all look at it as well to make sure they know what's happening in the team in terms of this deliverable. And of course, you can add more. So you need to invite uh, guest speakers for the ceremony and then deliverable may invite doctor to, 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 to speak to the ceremony email him ASAP and then PIC again it's just me and that has to be done by next week maybe the deadline is quite tight and the progress bar maybe you already contacted him before so it might be around 30% but then you might need an urgent help because it's so urgent and then save and then, yep, that's another deliverable created within this workplace. And maybe one week later, the venue booking is going smoothly, and you can increase the bar up to like maybe 80%. And then see here that the progress bar just instantly went up by this much. So with just one glance, you can see the deliverable name, the deadline, if there's a need for urgent help, and also who are the PICs. Well, of course, I'm just the only one here and also the progress bar to see how far is it from completion right okay so for the next one it's about the meeting manager because I know you guys have lots of lots of meetings both physical and virtual so it's always a good idea to keep in track of the meetings so how this application works is you can make sure all the meeting agenda minutes PowerPoint or any related files can be in one place so say the name of the meeting was like first PM meeting attendees you can select all your team members and if anyone's absent you can just include them here as well yeah and then the date and time uh, maybe it's like on Wednesday 
at 19.00 and end date um, it's on the same day at around 21. Two hours, minute sent, nope. And then this one, next meeting time, you can edit it later after your meeting. And in the files, you can attach like your agenda, your minutes, and your presentation, like your PowerPoint slides you're going to use for your meeting. And just click save. And then here, your meeting is created. And if you go back to the application, you can find your meeting, and your members can just click into it to go stick through the details of the meeting and make sure that they can all find the files required like the minutes, agenda, and PowerPoint slides all here. So one month later if you're thinking like, oh what the hell did I do last month, you can just find it here. Right. And then for the claiming system, because we always lose money and our VP Finance is always quite pissed off about losing receipts. So I created a system where you can upload a receipt instantly and then claim the money that you want back from the organization. So you can just add your name and put your scan copy of your receipt and also the amount. Say, uh, I want my $500 back. And then if it's follow up, well, no, not yet because I don't have my money. And if there's any additional files you need to attach, you can just put it here. But then uh, I'm too lazy to put the scan copy so I can't do anything here. But yeah, so your VP Finance can think about trying to use Podio as a way to get all the claiming done because it's very, very easy to do. And there's another way to do it by the web form, which I can talk about later in the next video. And then, yeah, just talking about web forms, so this project registration is sort of like a Google Doc where people who are interested in, say, attending one of your conferences that's part of your project, they can just fill in the web form and all the details can be found here. So it's somewhat related to the ICX workplace that was created a uh, few weeks ago for the tutorial. So yeah, this is how generally you can try to use Podio as a way to track your team meetings and everything. And it will definitely save your time and also won't lose any important information through emails. Right. So if you have any more questions about Podio, uh, you can just contact me and I'll create another video on how to actually create this workplace which is quite awesome so yeah thank you and then that's it